The world was captivated by the recent search for Ocean Gate's lost submersible Titan, which tragically imploded on its descent to the wreckage of the Titanic. The event not only led to the loss of five lives, but also raised questions about the preventability of the disaster. As someone deeply invested in studying shipwrecks, it is disheartening to see the disregard for crew and passenger safety in such endeavours. The implosion of Titan bears striking resemblances to historical naval tragedies, emphasising the need for accountability and prioritising safety. But first, smack the devil out of the subscribe button so you will never miss out on another historical adventure. But now, back to business. Warnings ignored. Ocean Gate Expedition CEO Stockton Rush, responsible for the design and construction of Titan, dismissed safety warnings as baseless. Notably, renowned filmmaker and deep-sea explorer James Cameron revealed that the deep-diving community had long alerted Ocean Gate about design flaws in Titan. This echoes a historic disaster involving the Titanic, where Captain Edward Smith disregarded warnings about icebergs ahead, resulting in the loss of over 1,500 lives. Rush's dismissal of safety concerns and refusal to heed expert advice mirrors Captain Smith's ill-fated decisions. A fatal flaw. The design of Titan itself posed significant risks. Unlike traditional submersibles with a titanium sphere that evenly distributes ambient pressure, Rush attempted to create a five-person submersible by cutting a sphere in half and connecting the halves with a tube. Using carbon fibre instead of titanium made the submersible larger and lighter. However, carbon fibre proved inadequate in withstanding the pressure changes experienced during dives, unlike titanium. Rush's failure to strength test the pressure hull led to the disastrous implosion during the third dive. Investigations and collaborative efforts. Following the Titan sub-disaster, investigations have been initiated by the US Coast Guard and the Transportation Safety Board of Canada, considering the involvement of the Canadian vessel Polar Prince. International cooperation between the United States, Canada, the United Kingdom and France similar to efforts made to safeguard the Titanic wreck site from looting, is anticipated. Such collaborations are essential for gathering vital information and preventing future disasters. Prioritising safety and oversight. To prevent future tragedies, it is crucial to prioritise crew and passenger safety. Suggestions for avoiding similar disasters are already emerging, such as declaring the Titanic wreck site off-limits to tourist submersibles. However, the focus should not solely be on who explores the wreck, but on ensuring safe exploration practices. Stockton Rush's myopic pursuit of innovation overshadowed the fundamental rule of safeguarding his crew. Oversight and regulations by governing bodies like the United Nations International Maritime Organization can play a significant role in preventing such disasters. The implosion of Titan serves as a sobering reminder of the consequences that arise from ignoring safety warnings and prioritising innovation over human lives. The parallels between this tragedy and historical disasters, such as the sinking of the Titanic and the ill-fated expedition of Robert Falcon Scott, underline the importance of accountability and learning from past mistakes. As the allure of the Titanic persists, it is imperative to ensure that any future dives to the wreck prioritise safety above all else. Only through collaboration and enhanced oversight can we prevent future disasters and protect lives in the pursuit of exploration. Thanks for watching.